In today's video, I'm gonna review and show you how to set up the Crazy Link Smart Plug. I'm gonna show you how to set it up with Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, we're gonna show you a new smart plug that you can use to control almost any appliance that plugs in in your house. So this connects directly to your Wi-Fi network via the 2.4 gigahertz network. And then you can control it from your smartphone or your smart assistants. So here is the smart outlet by Crazy Links. So inside the box, you have some instruction manuals, and then there you have the plug. And that's just about it. That's all that's in the box. So one of the things that I really like about these plugs is you can actually plug in two of them into one outlet. So here is a first edition of a different smart plug where you're not able to plug more than one outlet in when it is being used. So here, if I plug this in to my little mock outlet here, see it easily goes in and there you have plenty of room for both outlets. So that's really nice. I'm really excited to be able to do that. So once you have these all set up, even if you're away from your home, you can actually turn off the plug. Maybe you have a curling iron plugged into one of these. When you're away, you can check to make sure that that plug is off on your phone through the app and you can quickly turn it off. So some of the places that we use these right now, we have them on our Christmas lights, but the goal of today's video is I have some lights here that I use in my office and I'm gonna make sure that I can control them with these plugs. So let's start by getting them set up. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you plug this in and then download the Jinview app to get them set up. Here we have the outlet we wanna set up. We're just gonna plug it into the temporary wall. And then here we have the device we wanna plug in, the light, so I'm gonna plug that right in. And then you can see that once you plug it in, it turns on, but then you have the option to manually turn it on and off. So then you need to go and download the Jinvu Smart application. So then we're gonna open that up, and here I've already set up a light, but I'm gonna add a new one. So I'm gonna click the plus in the top right, and then here let's check to see if this is in pairing mode, and it is because the light is flashing. And then just going to click next step. And then here it is asking which Wi-Fi network you want to add it to. Now, you do need to select your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And right now you can see that I have the normal network and then the 5G network. So I'm on the correct network. And then here you need to type in your password so that it can be linked to your Wi-Fi. Then it's gonna go through and set it up, add the Wi-Fi password to this device so that when you're away from home, it will be able to control this at any time when it's connected to Wi-Fi. There you can see that it turned on and off the light, make sure it's reset and everything is working. And then down here you can see that it has initialized. So right now I can go in and I can rename this to Office Light 2 because the other one was Office Light 1. I'm gonna click Confirm. And then here I can share it with my family or I'm just going to click Done. Now it's gonna take me to this screen where I can control a switch. So here I can just turn it on or off, very easy. The switch does the same thing down here. I have the countdown where I can set this to turn off say after 15 minutes, two hours, whatever you want, you can control that right there. And then here we have the timer option where we can have it turn off at certain times during the day. So if you wanted to set these up on Christmas lights, you could have it turn on at 5 p.m. and turn off at 10 p.m. So here I'm gonna go into timer and to do that you click add, and then here you would choose the first one. So let's say we want it to turn on at five. Here we could have it repeat every day of the week. And then here we would say we want it to switch on. Then we can confirm that, click save. And then we need to add that second timer. So we click add, we choose the time, 10 p.m. And then we want it to switch off and then confirm and save that up there. So that's how easy you can add those different timers and have them whatever day of the week that you want them to be. Then if we go back all the way, we have one more option here where we have scenes. So scenes allows you to add different scenarios. So I could add a condition where when the outside temperature turns to a certain number, it will turn on the light or the switch. And then here you could set sunrise, sunset. You can do all that with that depending on all the lights that you have. Over here you have profile. So you could adjust your profile, scan a QR code to link different devices. All right, so now that we have set up these lights, I can turn them on and off really easily. So there you can see that I have light two, light one, then I can turn them both off. But now I wanna connect this with Amazon Alexa. So the first thing you need to do is go into the Amazon Echo app and go into the menu at the top left and then go into skills. Then you're going to look for the Jinview smart application. All right, so here we're gonna search for the skill, Jinvu. Hit search, here we have Jinvu Smart at the top. 
Now we're going to enable this skill and then it will ask us to link our Jinvu account. So that's the one that we created when we first set up the lights. And then here I have different accounts already linked and it's asking which one is this and it's the Jinvu Smart. And then we're gonna select link now. And then it will ask if you want to authorize Alexa to be able to control this application. So now it has been linked together. So we're gonna close that window right there and then we're going to click Discover Devices. And now it's gonna search for the Crazy Links devices that I've just set up. Now here it is showing all of the devices that we have. So I've already added some lights, deck lights, whatever, I have all those all in one. But here I have the two lights. So I have Office Light 1, Office Light 2. So here Office Light 1, Office Light 2 in the app, I can easily turn those on and off, just like that. If I go back, I can go to groups and now I'm gonna group those together. So let's make a new group called smart group and we're going to call this the office. Click next and then it's going to choose what devices we have in the office. So here I have my echo dot and then I have office light one and office light two and then we can click save. So now I have the office group where I can easily turn off, and that will just turn off the lights in the room. Then I can turn that back on. And then if we go back, we have one more where we can set different scenes. So you could have a scene to automatically turn off those lights at sunset or whatever, all within the Amazon Alexa app. Now let's test it out. Alexa, turn off office lights. Okay. Alexa. Turn on office light one. Okay. Alexa, turn on office light two. Okay. All right, simple enough. Now we're gonna set this up on the Google Home Mini. So of course we've already set up the app through the Jinview Smart app. Then we need to go into the Google Home application to set this up. We need to tap the menu in the top left-hand corner and go down to home control. This is where you will add all of your home control devices on the Google Home or the Google Assistant. So then we can click Add New right here. So I click the plus, and then we're gonna go through and we are going to search for Smart Life. So you don't find the Gin View on this one, you find the Smart Life. So right there, we have the Smart Life application. I open that up, and then I do the same thing where I would link my account. So here I'm gonna link my phone number, type in my password, and then it's going to give me the same options where it's gonna ask which account do I wanna link, and I'm gonna do the Jinvu Smart, and then I click Authorize. And now we have the Office Light 1, Office Light 2, so if I want to add that to a room, I could do that. I can add those to the office. Oops. Then click Done, and I already have some Office Lights set up here within that room. So I'm gonna click got it, and now these lights have been set up. Hey Google, turn off office light one. Sure, turning off office light one. Hey Google, turn off office light two. You got it, turning off office light two. Hey Google, turn on office lights. You got it, turning on five lights. All right, there you go. That is how you set all those lights up. And we can go through and you can see that there I have the Smart Life app. Here are the lights. I can open them up, add a nickname, change the room if I want to, all within the Google Home application. All right, so we have those fully set up, really easy to control now. I can either ask Google Home, hey Google, turn off Office Light 1. Sure, turning off Office Light 1. Or I can ask the Echo, hey Alexa, turn off Office Light 2. Okay. And they all work great. So there you go. It doesn't matter which assistant you have, but this smart plug by Crazy Links will work with your smart home. So we've really enjoyed having these little plugs around. You can turn on your Christmas lights, your turn off and on your curling iron. So pretty much anything that you can plug in, you can use with these smart outlets. Now right here, you can see that this has a purple light. So that means it's on. If you press the button, it turns blue, indicating that it is off. Now one of the things I really like about these plugs compared to all the other plugs is it's small and compact. 
pack. So it, they call it the mini. So that means you can have one of them plugged in and plug in anything else in the other outlet, or you could have two of them plugged in as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any further questions about the Crazy Lynx product or the Jinvu Smart App, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos from your phone to your smart home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.